Greetings everybody. Welcome to my messy Subaru setting on a scenic overlook in Allegheny, New York. Okay. And what we're talking about today is this Comfort Loft Bento Camping Pot. I got it on Amazon. I believe it was 15 and change, a little less than $16. Guys, what this is is a uh, a pot um, that is uh, along the lines of a uh, of an MSR stowaway. There are a couple subtle differences that we're going to look at, um, but it is a little bit cheaper. So the question is, uh, for the budget-minded, is this a good sort of a solo option, okay, um, uh, for someone looking for a pot that's just a slight bit cheaper than the MSR stowaways, which are already, you know, fairly uh, inexpensive. So first thing we're going to take a look at is the box. Okay, this is a 1.1 uh, liter pot. You see down here it says 1100 milliliters, 37 ounces. Okay, and it's got the height um, uh, 8 centimeters and by 14 centimeters. Okay, uh, it would should, but works out to be about 4 by 6 inches. Um, and uh, it's round. Okay, the, and the reason that they point that out is the product on Amazon, if you look, there are two different products. This is something that happens with some of these Chinese products where they actually list two different items under the same product and you have to go down in an area that would typically be in size or color selection and, uh, and select the round one. And the round one is the 1100 um, milliliter and um, the rectangular one is something along the lines of that BCB um, little uh, mess tin. It's 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 smaller. It's a lot smaller. And uh, most of the negative reviews actually seem like they had to do with that one, because when it showed up, it was it was uh, a little small for practical cooking. I'm not saying that necessarily. I I don't have that one here, so we can't look at it. But uh, it seems like. Not knowing exactly what the size was isn't really necessarily a, a reason for a negative review, um, because you know the the volumes listed so uh, and the sizes are listed, so uh, it could just be uh, buyer um, remorse or buyer uh, buyer that didn't quite understand what they were getting going in. Okay, so I uh, here's the instructions that come with it. Um, who would have known if you put this on an open fire, it'll get black. Well, steel wool can damage the finish, blah, blah, blah. Uh, wash it before you use it. And then here's uh, the, the, please contact us at an Amazon uh, address, which is kind of interesting. Here's the uh, barcode they have on it. I don't know what kind of information that'll be to anyone. Nowhere anywhere on the product or on the box does it say where this is made so I'm assuming it's China I suppose it could be India because this sort of thing is popular in India um, the MSR pots are made in um, is it the Philippines no Thailand they're made in Thailand okay and presumably that's where all the MSR stainless steel is made you know I'd be willing to bet that the uh, 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 the other stainless steel cook sets they make are made in the same place. Um, but those uh, seagull pots are very popular and for good reason. So let's take a look at this. Uh, we're going to open it up and take a look at some differences. Hang on. So here we have the item out of the box. Uh, you see the closure is very similar to the MSR closure. Um, over here... Uh, you see there's four little tack welds, yeah, if this will focus, four little tack welds that hold the handle onto the side of the pot. And then, uh, sorry about the, not having the tripod, guys. I'm really sorry. We'll open this up. And the lid is very similar to the seagull lid. The shape is a little different. The seagull lid is a little bit more angular, and this is uh, a little curvier, but essentially the same thing. The shape of everything is very similar. Okay, now one difference, the seagull pots don't have this little sort of step at the bottom. 
um, they're just kind of curved. I suspect that this gives a little bit more rigidity to the pot. Uh, the seagull pots do have this bump in the bottom, which is for the same reason, to, to lend rigidity to the material. Um, one of the negative uh, reviews, hang on. One of the negative reviews said it was uh, flimsy. I don't really see that, guys. Um, it's, it really seems like it's built about as tough as a seagull pot. Uh, if I flex it, it flexes a very little, but the seagull ones do, do as well. As far as the lockup goes, it's about the same as the MSR one. You know, it'll definitely hold the pot upside down um, as it is. If it was full, I don't know if it necessarily would, but the same, that's the same with the seagull ones. You can always tighten up these ears a little bit. And, uh, and you'll get a little bit more retention off that. Um, so uh, so for about $5 less, you know, it seems like it's a, it's a pretty decent option. Um, what, where this is in a price range is similar to, say, the Stanley cook set. Now, that Stanley cook set comes with the two plastic cups. Um, you may or may not have use for those two plastic cups. But I, I like the shape of this better. Um, the Stanley uh, cook set, the, the upright one, um, that's very popular, uh, is, is I, I'm not keen about the shape. You know, for some reason, the entire industry is going to these long, tall pots. And I think it's because there's a perception that they pack better um, in side slip kind of uh, pouches on the sides of backpacks. Um, but really, from a functional standpoint, the way fire works, you want something that's a little bit wider than it is tall. Uh, now, as far as uh, holding, uh, suspending this over a fire, I suspect the same sort of uh, mod could be made for this, where you uh, make some kind of a metal hook that would connect this piece and this piece so that it would hang. And that's, you know, hanging is, is I guess, someplace where you want a little bit taller pot. Okay, for stability, because a, a, a rounder, a, a more squat pot might tend to flip. Um, but for using this on a camp stove or using this on a campfire, like actually setting it on a campfire, uh, I think this would be fine. The handle seems uh, very similar to the MSR handle. Um, I don't have the 1100 milliliter MSR pot to compare it to. All, all I have are the the 1.6, the 1600 milliliter uh, pots, because that's all that I ever bought. But, uh, you know, that is a decent size for, you know, two people or more, the, the 1600. The 1100 here might be, I think, better for a solo setup or maybe two people, okay, where if you were, you were going to be eating out of it. That's another thing about the, the taller pots. Not really ideal for eating out of, okay. Uh, a smaller pot that's more like a bowl is better to eat out of you know and this you can do the same thing on this where you slide the lid onto the handle if I can do it one-handed and make yourself make yourself a little like bowl and plate kind of thing that you hold on to with one hand and can eat out of with another you can do this with the MSR pots as well um, I've heard of people using the lid is a fry pan for the MSR pots. That's not recommended for the MSR ones. I can't imagine it'd be recommended for this either. Um, there does seem to be a little bit more play in the lid on this. Maybe I'm just making that up. But it's it's not bad. And when this locks down, it's just as rock solid as the, uh, as the MSR. Okay. I mean, that's on there. It's not jiggling around. You could definitely use that as a secure kind of uh, storage. Um, so, yeah, something to look at. I will put the link uh, in the description below if you're interested in taking a, a look at this or if you think this might be something good for you. I think it's going to be about the, the perfect size for, uh, for say, my Optimus 8R um, or my uh, 99, Optimus 99. Uh, to kind of mate up with with those stoves um, Now that makes a pretty bulky setup. You could obviously get a stove that would fit inside this, you know, one of the um, One of that new crop of the little uh, super ultra lightweight Chinese uh, Canister stoves would probably fit in here possibly with a canister if you got the right size and uh, 
And it might be a good little compact option. It's not anything that's stainless steel. It's not going to be exceptionally lightweight. Does this give weight specs on here? It does not. And I don't have a scale in my car. Um, but, it, you know, it's about what you would expect. It's not super light, um, but it's definitely very portable. Okay, the sticker obviously is going to come off. Um, so, yeah. Hello. All right. Have a great day, guys.